Hey guys, Brendan from TAT here. Um, near the end of the day, so just a quick one, I just want to show you a new tool that I've got um, called the Auto Sim Pro from Autodytex. Okay, so the Auto Sim Pro I'm going to use just on a, a quick diag that we've got here. Um, I've just got it out of the box, so I've literally powered it, powering it up for the first time. I sort of went through the, the functions just to get a bit of a gist of it. Seems pretty intuitive to use, but I'll show you um, a quick feature that you can use on it on this uh, Ford Focus that we've got here with a transmission problem. So check engine light, transmission warning message, and um, I've read a code for the output speed sensor. So we want to interrogate that output speed sensor circuit. So we've got this Ford Focus and I'm going to um, hook up the Auto Sim Pro. So it's just got um, battery connection so it powers up, powers up really quickly. So if I insert this into it, and you can see we're already powered up. Now, what this does is um, you can output a lot of um, signals. So say like a sine wave, a crankshaft position sensor, that kind of thing. Um, I'm also going to use it in the future just to drive duty cycle components like solenoids, you know, suction control valves, that kind of thing. But in this case, um, I've already used the scope to determine that we've got no output from the output speed sensor on this tra automatic transmission. Um, two wire sensor, so it's an inductive sensor. It looks like the sensor's probably dead, right? But um, you always want to think to yourself, okay, if I replace that sensor and it still um, hasn't fixed it, what would the next test that I'm going to do be? The next test that I would do is I'd want to check the wiring, check if the module works. So, if we've got a dead sensor that's not outputting a signal, why well, don't I use my signal generator to output a signal, see if it um, registers on the scan tool, and then we know the wiring and everything's good. We 100% need a, a sensor. Quick, easy test, right? So this is it from Powered Up. In this case, I'm going to want to uh, go to generator, so I'm going to want to generate something. Um, being a two-wire inductive sensor, I'm expecting it to put out a sine wave, an AC sine wave. So we're going to go to that. Not going to mess around with the amplitude and frequency at the moment. We're just going to see if we can get something on the, the scan tool. If we need to play around with that, then we, we will, right? Um, the only other thing I need to do um, is I need to tell it that I do want to output that. You can see down here it's saying SOUT OFF, so that's the signal output. So if I go to output control, ask me if I want that one off, I'm going to put that down and it's now on, right? So that's now outputting a signal. Now to test that, I've just got my scope here. So this is the output from the AutoSim Pro. If I hook that into my scope, okay, so I've just got that hooked into my scope now. And we come over to my scope, and lo and behold, I've got a nice sine wave that could look like an AC signal, right? So, if I take that, get rid of my scope, I don't need that anymore. We know we've got a signal coming out of it. And you'll see this is my connector that was going down to the speed sensor. I've just got it unplugged, and I've put two front probing terminals into it. And you'll see I've got my scan tool over here, and, uh, I'm hoping that we should see a reading there. Um, just got the ignition on at this point, right? So, our signal out of our signal generator. Okay, I've got that in there. So, signal generator going into the connector for the speed sensor that's heading up to the TCM. And if we come over to our scan tool now, you'll see that we've got a figure there. So, I don't care what it is, it's just really because obviously the sine wave is going to be absolutely crazy compared to what is probably being output by the speed sensor but um, that confirms my wiring, confirms the module. So we could play around with the frequency of that and um, we could vary the speed there, but quick, easy test. I'm happy with my wiring, happy with my module. Um, don't have anything coming out of the speed sensor, so it's gonna need a speed sensor. So just a quick one there, guys. So it's the Ditex Auto Sim Pro. Um, you can get that from Endeavor. Um, absolutely no um, you know, connection with them at all. I've bought this myself and um, literally the first day that I've opened it from the box and um, luckily I've got something to, to use it on and I look forward to using it in the future. So once I've had a bit more to play with it, um, I'll do up a review, put it on the TAT Equipment Reviews. So if you're after other equipment reviews, make sure you're getting onto the website there. Head to the Equipment Reviews section and um, you'll see all real mechanics putting in real reviews for real tools with um, real opinions of whether they work or not. Thanks guys.